This project shows how to build a self-watering system whose values can be monitored through an app. The project includes both a breadboard circuit and a printed circuit board design. Project measures both the water level and the soil moisture value and runs the system within the specified time interval, and the self-watering function is executed. Although the breadboard circuit of the project looks complicated, you can build the circuit by following the shared circuit diagram, and you can test that all components work correctly. The circuit uses a needle pixel LED for ultraviolet light. a MOSFET that acts as a switch to activate the motor. And of course, the water pump motor. An important warning, leave the power connection of the water pump motor wire before connecting the circuit to your computer to upload the source code. In the source code part, the necessary libraries need to be installed and added first. Then, the Blink application was preferred to instantly view the sensor data on a dashboard. The unique auth token address generated by the application is added to the source code, and then the network information with internet access must be entered. Remember that the pin numbers to which the components are connected must be defined as GPIO. Also, the features of the NeoPixel LED should be added. The power pins are controlled via the source code to prevent continuous power consumption of the sensors and for their long-term use, and the water pump is turned on off via the MOSFET pin. Define how long the water pump motor will be active, currently set to 3 seconds. Also, the threshold value should be defined according to the values received at the moment of high and low signals of the water level sensor. A time interval value for sensor measurements is defined. For now, it is set to 10 seconds. Then a variable was created to initialize and reset the defined time interval. In the setup section, the basic Wi-Fi and blink settings are defined as well as the output and input modes of the sensor pins. At the beginning of the circuit, all power pins were defined as low signals, and the basic definitions required for the NeoPixel LED were specified. In the loop section, the Blink application and the LED function are executed first. Then, the defined time interval period is calculated and started to receive the sensor values and run the functions. From the functions, the soil moisture sensor value is read first, and if the soil moisture value is high, the circuit is on standby, and the current status of the circuit is printed on the Blink dashboard. In the Blink application, these values are defined as string for the moisture sensor and water pump, and as integer for the water level sensor. If the soil moisture value is low, the Blink dashboard values are updated, and the water pump motor is activated for a defined time interval, after which the motor goes into standby mode again until the next sensor measurement. After the water pump function is executed, the water level sensor values are read and the current water level value is sent to the Blink dashboard. The water level values are read in analog, converted to percentage format and displayed. Finally, the loop is terminated and restarted. Also, the functions of the sensors and LED are located outside the loop section. The source code link is in the video description. After uploading the code, make the water pump motor power connection, then supply 5 to 6 volts of external power to the circuit. The sensor data is read every 10 seconds, and the specified functions are executed. As you can see the circuit is working perfectly. Next, we will take a look at the printed circuit board design. The Altium Designer system was preferred for printed circuit board design. Altium Designer offers engineers a unified environment that provides a comprehensive view of the entire PCB design process. A more detailed video will be shared for the full design process of the PCB for the project. For now, the highlights are that a Wemos mini library was created first. Then the Altium Designer Component Library and Octopart, a free component search engine, were used to find and include the necessary electronic parts and components for the circuit. Once all components have been added to the circuit diagram, the circuit connection process begins. 
Altium Designer has a friendly interface and provides users with many useful tools. After the circuit diagram design, the board design process begins. The one-touch 2D and 3D model viewing switch in Altium Designer is a great convenience during the design process. After the components were placed on the board, PCB routes were created easily and quickly using AutoRoute, another very useful tool of Altium Designer. The PCB routes took about 3 seconds to complete. In the meantime, if you need support during the design process and teamwork is required, Altium 365 is the best solution. You have full control over project sharing and management with centrally stored design data, configurable access rights, and roles. After exporting the PCB files, ordering process begin. PCB printing quality is as important as board design. I prefer PCB Way, which offers an affordable price and high quality PCB printing service. All you need to do is upload the PCB file you created and complete the order. Once the printed circuit board is delivered, the necessary components are prepared and the soldering process begins. The components are placed on the board according to the shared reference designator and then fixed with a soldering iron and soldering wire. The printed circuit board is ready. In this section, the connections of the sensors and the motor are made and the board is tested to see if it runs smoothly. The source code is already installed and the test is started by powering the circuit. As can be seen, the circuit is working smoothly. And the next step is to assemble the 3D parts. The link for 3D parts is also available in the video descriptions. If you do not have a 3D printer, you can get printing services through PCB Way. We have come to the end of another project. There is a self-watering system with an information dashboard. What do you think about the project? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.